Hi all. We're going to do a clean install on this laptop. Uh, uh, but it's my niece's and she picked up some adware. So first we have to boot to the DVD. I have Windows 10 install DVD inside the DVD player. I downloaded it from Microsoft's website, burnt the DVD. So now we have to boot to the disk. So start the computer. Down here it says press escape to, to get the boot menu. And then after a minute or so we'll get a boot menu here. Every computer is different. Sometimes it's up here at the top. It says press F12 to go to the boot to boot to the DVD or something. So you just have to read your manual or go on the web. So now see here now here's our boot menu. So we want this one here, boot device options. So press F9 for boot device options. So that's these F keys here along the top. Okay, so F9 is that one. Okay, now it's saying, do you want to boot to the hard drive? That's what you normally do. Or do you want to boot to the DVD? So use the arrow keys to move that down. See, now we have this one selected. And then press the enter key. Okay, so now it's saying boot to the disk. Just press down any key. I usually just press spacebar. So now it's it's booting to the DVD. It takes a few seconds because it's loading everything in the RAM. I did this one time about a half hour ago and it went right to her lock screen for some reason. And then I did it again and uh, it finally gave me this screen here. So you might have to try it a couple times. And then, you know, I have a mouse. You know, don't, don't try to do this off your touchpad. You know, this is just a Microsoft mouse. Works off this little USB thing. It's all wireless. So here they're saying, what's your language? US, US, choo choose your appropriate settings there. Click next. And then install now. Go ahead and do install now. So the whole install should only take maybe 15, 20 minutes or so, depending on the speed of your computer. This is an older one, this is a dual core, so it could take a while, we'll see. Okay now she doesn't have a, she doesn't have a license yet, but she's going to go to the store and buy that later. So we can just click next button here, or, or we can just click skip here. And then read through the license. 
always important to read all that stuff, you know, print it out, bring it to your lawyer, click the accept checkbox, and click next. And then it says you want to upgrade or you want to do a custom. So she picked up a virus, so we're going to not do an upgrade. We're going to do a custom. Let's see. I want to delete everything because we don't know what's on this thing. So. We don't care. We just want to get rid of everything. Okay, so she has one hard drive, 300 gigs, and we're just going to install Windows on the whole thing. So we can just click Next and Windows will do its thing. If we wanted to, we could click New and create a partition, but we don't have to do that. We can just click Next. Windows will know what we want. Okay, so now it starts the install. And going down through these things, that's what will take a while. It could take a good half hour or so. Okay, so when that gets down toward the bottom, we'll be back. Bye. Okay, we're at 23% here. It's only been about five minutes. Okay, we're at 66% here. Okay, we're done installing, now it's going to restart. Then it'll configure itself, I, I guess that's what it's going to do. So this DVD was the original when Windows 10 first came out. So maybe it'll go out to the website and grab the new files. We'll see what it does here.
Okay, it's done installing. It's asking for a product key. So uh, there's a thing here that says do this later. Click do this later. Select express settings. See these settings here? It says use these ex express settings. This is where they get you. Okay. Okay. Yeah, always go with custom here. Okay. And see here. Mm -hmm. There's all different ways that you can set these up. I usually just turn everything off because I don't know what they're doing. So you can read through these and check them. These are all in those settings. Okay. But I usually just turn everything off. Sometimes you have to scroll down. See, see that? Okay. Because one of the settings is anybody on the network, let's say you download the updates, the critical updates. You download the updates, right? Anybody on, on the network, if they want the updates, their, their computer will automatically go to your computer and, and, and get the updates. I mean, who the hell wants that? But Microsoft is thinking internet-wide, it's better for the internet. You know, if I have the updates on my computer, your computer will automatically go to my computer and, and get them. You know, but it just seems like a big security fall, you know, as far as, as, far as I'm concerned. That's why, you know, some of those settings might be good. You might like some of those on, especially on like a tablet or a phone. But... I usually just turn it everything off okay. there might be one that I leave on but it's like something to do with like smart screen or something like that I don't really know what the hell it is I just... but I noticed what happened last week was after I did an upgrade or I installed the updates to the website they turned them all back on hmm. yeah you know what I mean so every time you get the updates it's a uh, Update Tuesday. Every Tuesday night, Microsoft puts out updates. Oh. So that's when, like, if your computer is running slow on Tuesday night, well, that's probably what it's doing. It's downloading the updates. Oh. And there's, there's, you can stop the updates, but you can't stop the security updates. I think there is a way to do it, but you really have to know what you're doing. You got to get deep into the system. They want people to get the security updates because that stops the viruses from flowing around the internet. Gotcha. Okay, so uh, this is my niece's computer. She logged on, she signed on with her Microsoft account. She just entered in her username and password. And then here's something that says, the password can easily be stolen Windows Hello provides you with a combination of two factors your device plus biometrics or PIN instead of a password to sign in to your device apps or services create a new PIN here a new PIN yeah just, just something simple